Let's quickly cut to our in-house chess expert, Siddharth Vishwanathan. Siddharth, what a, a great achievement for India indeed. We could safely say and call ourselves proudly that we are the best chess nation in the world. Miles ahead, Nabila. If you look at it, look at the dominance. Just one game lost out of 44. India, open category, have become the 12th nation in the entire 97-year history of the Olympiad. The women's team have become the 8th. It is equivalent to India winning the 83 World Cup when you look at the parallels of uh, cricket. Also the 2011 World Cup. But an Olympiad, you're on top for out of 193 nations. 193 nations. That itself should give you immense pride. And I cannot tell you, like, ever since the start of the tournament, I got the candidate's vibe. Because somewhere down the line, this golden generation, mentored by Vishwanathan Anand, were destined to do something special. And you could just feel it. You know... Siddharth, uh, I, I should say that chess is really the most intellectual game. It takes a lot of expertise, a lot of practice, and, and you come from a chess family. Let, let me say on air today that uh, Siddharth is Vishwanathan Anand's family member, his nephew really. So Siddharth, you should tell me the kind of work that goes behind actually practicing the art. I mean, it involves a lot of toil, Nabila. Let me just make it very, very clear. It's not as if you're smart, you just come on the chessboard, you move the pieces and you get and you get victory. No. There are thousands and thousands of permutations and combinations that you have to think. What is this guy going to do? What is this guy going to think next? If you make a move, you're thinking three times ahead. Okay, this is what he will be at that position. Now, I'll give you a classic case of intellectual. We have to now call him the Thala of chess for one simple reason. Because Gukesh seems to have an affinity to number 7. In the 7th round, he lost in the candidates, but he bounced back and went on to win the title. Round 7 of the Olympiad, he played one of the greatest endgames that will be debated upon for generations. How do you win with just two knights and an F-pawn? That itself shows the years and years and years of hard work that has been put on. Pragnananda, Gukesh, Vidit Gujarati and Arjun Nerigaisi have all achieved this because they started it very young. They got the backing. Chess is a very expensive sport. Let us be very clear about it. They got the backing and now they are showing what they can truly do on the world stage. And they will be surrounded by technology. They will be surrounded by a lot of yeah. other things. But they have shown now that intellect backed with yeah. a solid backing from behind, either from sponsors or family, has given them what we could not have even imagined a decade ago. Yeah. Double Olympic gold. I'll call it an Olympic gold.